Good morning, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for our math test. Woo-hoo. Some of you are doing very, very well on your math test. Thank you very much. Today's is pretty easy, I think. But we'll see how you do, okay? Alrighty, let's see. So you are going to need this page right here, page 173, 174. Okay, so you're going to need your pencil, an eraser, and your ruler. Make sure you have your ruler, okay? You will need a ruler for your paper, okay? So let's start on the back of your page. Ooh, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. A, A, five plus six. B, 16 minus, 16 take away four. C, 12 take away six. D, seven plus six. E, 10 take away 6. And F, 9 plus 6. All righty. Next part is, boom. Okay, now we have two things. One, the first one, we want you to draw a line that's five inches and the second one that will be five centimeters. Remember, on your ruler there are two sides, right? Okay, now, here's how you do this. Are you ready? You have a line on your paper. Okay? What you want to do, let's say, let's say we want to make it seven inches long, okay? So I will put my ruler right there on the mark, right? Find number seven and just draw us run it right along there, okay? That's how you're gonna do that, okay? Okay, you just find whatever number you want and then run your pencil, oops. Run your pencil right along that line, okay? All righty. So the first one is five inches. The second one is five centimeters. Make sure you look on your ruler and use the right side, okay? Okay. Now we have a little story. Oh, the bay holes. Oh, Sam went to the playa. And he saw seven cangrejos, seven crabs. Sam saw seven crabs on the beach. But then three of them went hiding down into the sand. Okay. So how many were left? Okay. You're going to put your answer right there and then make your number sentence, right? Okay. So there were seven. He saw seven. But then three hid down down in a hole in the ground, okay? So how many were left, okay? This part down here, we're gonna count by threes. Remember we started doing that this week? Cool, you just fill in that number, that is so easy. Okay, now down here, down here, we're gonna count the money, right? And make sure you just keep adding it across, right? Okay, so our first two are 25. Then the next three are five, and the next one is what now? I do not want you. Okay, you have the little squares here, right? We have our square, 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 square. Okay, I don't want you to go 25, 25, 5, 5, 5. You're going to add them the same way as if you count are counting the period, right? 25. Right? Okay. Just like you're counting money, count the money, okay? Okay. A 
other side of the paper. Here are clocks. Okay? Put your times in your clocks. Okay, now, here we have two rows. Okay? We have a row of circles. Okay, look at those circles. One of these circles is divided into fourths. <coughs> Excuse me. Into fourths. Color. Color the one that is divided into fourths. You don't have to, you know, okay, here it is. Is divided into color. You don't have to be very careful, you know. And don't do that. Here's your, your thing. If this is the one you want, what do you do? Just go like that. So all you have to do is put something on there. You can even put an X there. I don't care. But don't waste a lot of time coloring it. Don't need that. Okay? So, which one of these circles is divided into fourths? Okay? Color it. You can put an X on it. You can scribble on it. Give it hair. I don't care. Okay? The next one, we have some squares. Okay? Which square, color the square that is divided into fourths. Fourths. Okay? Then here you just add them all up, right? Smart, smart, smart. You guys can do that, okay? Cool. Have fun on your test. And when you're all done, um, make sure your mommy has it so that I get it. Okay? We will see you again tomorrow.